just the feeling of the answered prayer, if assumed and sustained, must objectify the answer to your prayer. So that's the meaning. If he call the things that be not as though they were, and the unseen become seen. If a physical fact can produce a psychological state, then that psychological state can produce a physical fact. That's the meaning of all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing. Believe that you have it now, and you shall receive it. How can you believe you have it now? For the reality of it is an idea, isn't it? A mental picture in your mind. So you accept the mental picture, dramatize it, feel the reality of it, rejoice in it, believe in the law of growth knowing that the seed you put on the ground will grow if you nourish it, sustain it, water it, and fertilize it. The philosophy of 6,000 years has not searched the chambers and the magazines of the soul. Emerson said that. Your mind, is the, your consciousness, is the sum total of all your subjective and objective impressions and awarenesses. Your mind is a medium of ideas. It's a collection of impressions. Some are good, and perhaps some are not so bad. Uh, your mind, therefore, is a medium for all sorts of impressions, and your mind should be open only to ideas which heal, bless, inspire, elevate, and dignify your soul. For ideas are our masters. Ideas generate emotions. The reason there is so much misery in the world is the ideas many men hold are completely false. And these emotions get snarled up in the subconscious, and they must have an outlet. And being of a negative nature, it must be a negative outlet. Uh, what saw the steam coming out of the kettle? He was a Scotchman, mechanic. His mother was making a cup of tea, and he saw the result of the steam forcing the lid up. He began to think, what would happen if I harnessed that steam? Tremendous power there. All he had was an idea. He began to think about it from all angles. The idea came from his subconscious mind to force steam into a cylinder, which contained a piston. The expansion forced the piston back and drove the wheels. That was the beginning of the steam engine, which revolutionized industry all over the world. When a man says it can't be done, it was never done before, it's impossible. Remember, the... Um, Science of aerodynamics state, states that the bumblebee cannot fly because its wingspan is too short and its weight is too great for it to fly. But the bumblebee doesn't know what's in the textbook, so it goes ahead and flies. So when someone says it can't be done, the man who knows the power of his imagination, of the great friend within him, says, what does he say? It says, I'm going to do it. It can be done. And the subconscious, which is his friend, responds to him and brings it to pass in a wonderful, wonderful way. Here's a friend also for a ban. Someone mailed me this clipping. It's an unknown Mexican, it says, from the Copley News Service. And uh, he was praying for wealth. That is, he wanted money to do the things he wanted to do. Obviously, he was poor, according to the article. And in a dream, he sees the Virgin, because he had gone to uh, Guadalupe to pray. And the Virgin said to him in a dream, purchase this ticket, 37281, in the Mexican lottery. He called his nephew in Texas, and he asked him to track it down. So the nephew tracked it down, and he invested the uncle's money to buy uh, the block of tickets. And the uncle won three million, a grand prize in Mexico. The Internal Revenue, the article said, visited his nephew and said, we want one million six hundred thousand dollars because you're here in America and you bought this ticket. So he took it to the tax court. And the article says, the judge said, well, this man received an answer to his prayer from the Virgin and uh, the ticket was purchased in his name and the internal revenue doesn't get anything. So that's the friend that gave this Mexican who believed that the Virgin would answer him. Three million dollars. That's the friend that's within you. Its ways are past finding out. The Virgin, of course, is the I am within you, your own subconscious mind. It's capable of infinite conceptions with itself, within itself. That's why Mere means the sea. Virgin means the pure mind. 
the infinite mind, the I am, the presence of God within you. That's called the Virgin Mary in all Bibles of the world. Mary is a Latin word meaning the sea. So it has nothing at all to do with woman or a virgin or anything of that nature. Because there is that within you that's capable of an infinite number of conceptions of itself without the aid of any man. It created the whole universe. For example, the tree outside your door is an immaculate conception. So is the whole universe an immaculate conception. It came out of the mind of God. He had no one to aid him, for God is all there is. And therefore only God can make a tree. So that's the virgin that is within you. Now, even though he had blind faith and thought he was praying to a virgin, his subconscious responded. Because your subconscious responds whether the object of your faith be true or false. And that's a very interesting thing to know.